is celebrating uh, 50 years of uh, liberation of Bangladesh. So we have with us Colonel Chaudhary who is from Haryana. He is the ex, ex serviceman chief of Haryana in Congress. And a lot of family members have been in the army. Uh, Ajit Kumar and Pallav Ghosh from Radio Studio. Uh, Colonel Chaudhary, please tell about your experiences uh, with the uh, people who were in the war, your family members and what do you feel and what role does Congress have in this commemoration? Because Congress was there in leading as a uh, Congress at the government in 2021. Look, uh, being a veteran, I take pride in being, being in armed forces and I take extra pride in telling all of you that I come from a family which has given 11 officers those who participated in 1971 war. So very close for my maternal and paternal side. Both. And I was a small child that time and uh, I have seen my mother keeping fast for all 14 days that day when there used to be a bulletin at 7 o'clock, you know, giving out a list of people, those who were martyred, martyred on that particular day. So people used to wait and they used to feel relieved that uh, Okay, my son, daughter, my son or my uh, relative is not there in that place. Notwithstanding that, we have a very glorious history of being in uh, military and uh, unit on services. My real uncle martyred in 1962 war and was a, was a young captain. And out of 11 members, those who took part, we lost three. So we take pride that we have taken part in building our country, defending our country, and more so splitting the Pakistan into two portions and creating Bangladesh uh, a nation. Secondly, I want to uh, in a in a recent time. There has been a very, very big hype over surgical spikes. I must tell everybody and the nation must know that surgical strikes have been part and parcel of military uh, training and every soldier in some other, other way has taken part or supported an operation behind enemy lines. And Bangladesh war is one of the biggest surgical strikes of military history and after uh, Second World War, after uh, landings in uh, Normandy, this, uh, this war has seen the biggest paradropping amphibious operations, many kilometers of uh, Meghna River was to be crossed and thereafter wearing up of land and air forces and more so the para drop forces. So we, we call it that this is the biggest surgical strike of military history. Though we have uh, seen a number of uh, number of such activities behind enemy lines. Every, every infantry battalion has got a water problem and there are para regiments. Their basic and prime role is going behind the enemy lines, cutting across the uh, supplies and securing the base so that the frontal attacks can be launched and the uh, areas can be captured. So, yeah. So what is the significance uh, that uh, uh, this celebration shows of the war and how do you think the youth would take or youth should take this uh, commemoration and celebration of 50 years because many people must not have been born when the war was there. Right. Right. I must say that uh, 1971 war should not be remembered only on 16th of December 
or in the golden jubilee year it should be remembered on every single day when uh, as a country we have shown a grit and determination a cohesive operations by military army uh, army air force navy and led by our very very uh, strong leader who is called iron lady uh, mrs indira gandhi ji she has shown the world that india you cannot take india for granted even the fine us president nixon it shows that india has grown its uh, india has taken a big leap in its stature as a global power and 1971 war has catapulted indian india as a country as a global leader or uh, becoming a big uh, defense uh, defense leader across the world people started uh, people used to undermine countries used to undermine now with the great leadership of mrs indira gandhi india became came on the center stage and became one of a very prominent country or leader in the world uh, forums where our voice was neglected earlier and it is it is being heard now and with uh, with that as a background our country has traveled over last 50 years to be world leader in many things and our defense forces and our cohesiveness uh, cannot be taken for granted by any country Thanks a lot, Kalji Chaudhary. It was nice talking to you. Ajit Kumar and Pallav Ghosh from Radiance Media signing off from Jawaharlal. Thank you, Ajit Ji.